and AM 620. Uh, Going to talk a little, actually, Bucks and NFL uh, later today. I know we got excited about that with our guy, Hassan Khan. Yeah, next segment. Did the video on Mike awesome, Evans man. behind the scenes. You you guys are in and gals for a treat because I thought there was really some cool things that came out in that chat. Yeah, we pre-recorded it before the show today to oh, man. be able to get it all in, but... There's some stuff about the negotiations with uh-huh. Mike Evans and the Buccaneers that we have not heard yet. So make sure you tune in after this segment. Don't go anywhere. Stay here. Yeah, We're talking light. Don't go anywhere. But don't go nowhere. <laughs> don't go nowhere. Um, but there's some new things on there, man, that Zach and I both looked at each other when we had the Scooby-Doo. Uh, <laughs> and let's bring in our guy, Hassan Khan, at Time to Football on Twitter slash X. He's the guy that put together that incredible video that the that behind-the-scenes look of Mike Evans re-signing with the Buccaneers. Hassan, what's going on, buddy? How are you today? Doing great. I'm blessed. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, man. Uh, Listen, the video crushed it. It's just so cool to give a behind-the-scenes look of a guy that nobody wanted anywhere. To Nobody in the Bay Area wanted him to leave, and luckily it was all worked out. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your background? What got you into doing something like this to be a, a independent journalist uh, covering NFL players and telling their stories? Yeah, so my life, I just wanted to talk about football for a living. That's it. As broad as that sounds, I don't care in what capacity. It could have been in the commentary booth. It could have been in sideline reporting, studio show, whatever. That's what I wanted to do. So I decided to go to a four-year college, get a journalism degree. And I'm sure you guys can attest to this, but trying to break into the sports journalism world, it is very, very difficult. Oh, yeah. You have to either know the right people or you have to be really, really hot. And uh, I didn't know anyone. And there's a reason why this is a radio interview right now. So, (laughs) um, but... After two years of trying to apply for jobs and trying to get a sports journalism job, um, no one was giving me a shot. So I was doing YouTube on the side while I was in college just for fun, uh, just to get experience. And I thought to myself, hey, this is making just a tiny bit of money. What if I put all my eggs in one basket and went down that route, you know, still trying to work my way up? And then Derek Gilmore of day one, Mike's uh, agent, I was just sending a bunch of cold emails out, probably to like 50 sports agents. And I probably only heard back from three. Two of them said no, and one of them said yes. I would love to do something with you, and thankfully that was Derek. And I've been working with him for four years, and that just kind of evolved from working with the draft prospects and interviewing them that he's brought on to his team to finally getting a chance to sit down and have that uh, that opportunity to interview Mike. And, and we made a pretty pretty awesome feature talking about his contract. Yeah, and on that feature, if y'all haven't checked it out, definitely do so. Really good look behind the scenes at number 13 sticking around here in Tampa Bay. You know, what was kind of Mike's reaction and thought process uh, when he heard that, you know, you wanted to kind of create this video? Well, so funny thing about Mike is uh, the day the day that we interviewed him, it was the day that he actually signed the contract. So we got footage of that, talked to Jason Light, and uh, he had the whole press conference as well. So he was booked with all these interviews. He had to do the press conference he had to uh, do things with the internal team. He had local media in Tampa that he had to call like us. He, he to called call us. He <laughs> called us that day. <laughs> I was the very last person that he talked to. He was so busy that when I set everything up, uh, he walked in. And the first thing that he said was, all right, how long is this going to take? And I'm <laughs> like, hey, Hassan Khan, nice to meet you, Mike. Uh, he was like, oh, my bad, Mike. Nice to meet you. You know, it's just been a long day. And I'm like, totally understand, man. Um, but I kind of told him about the future, what we're doing, and, and he was he was awesome. He was awesome about it. He was all in. And what I re- really love about him is uh, his answers are just so genuine. Um, he doesn't put on a front, try to give you a PR answer. Like when you ask him a question, he'll tell you straight up what the truth is behind every answer. Um, so he reacted really well to to the idea of the feature. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about the feature and, and why you went about it the way it did. Like. It was this was his, his agent, Derek Gilmore. Was he saying like, hey, we want to videotape the whole process? And how does that help Derek in the future? Is this one of those things where you kind of show other athletes, other prospective professionals like, hey, this is how the process is going to go. We're going to keep everything above board and and everything top notch. Yeah. So it was actually an idea that I pitched to him uh, because I've been working with him for probably about four years now. And it's been just draft prospects that are kind of like those low round picks to undrafted, just kind of need their name out there. So he uh, likes the idea of me making videos for them, making features for them so that he can send it to NFL teams. 
Um, and then just kind of working my way up. And I was like, hey, I know that you, Mike Evans is your client, um, but it's kind of hard to get in with, with the top guys. So uh, I pitched the idea to him, like, listen, this is a good opportunity. If you want me to cover this uh, contract, uh, him, him signing it, behind the scenes look, uh, I think it'd be a pretty good video. And he liked the work that I did. And he was like, yeah, sure, let's, let's do it. So we flew out to Tampa that day and did the whole thing. But as far as day one goes, yeah, absolutely. I feel like this is going to help him out a lot. Um, he's over, already such a great guy. Um, he takes care of his guys. He's very responsive. Like I mentioned, out of all the agents that I emailed, he right away emailed me back. Um, and with his guys, he takes care of them. And I believe that this feature is going to do a really good job and help promoting him and getting more clients on board with him. And I feel like this is just the beginning for day one. Yeah. And while you were kind of putting this all together and you were compiling all this footage, what, what one piece of information kind of stuck out to you that you got that maybe caught you off guard or, or made you like widen your eyes when somebody said it through the process? Uh, so as far as like something that kind of caught me off guard, are you talking about what Mike said or anybody? I know you talked to Jason Light too, the GM and Gilmore, the agent. So like a really well done piece. There was a lot of coverage in there. Any of their comments throughout that you were like, oh, damn. Yeah. So you, you get a, a, an idea behind the scenes of everything that's going on. I, I can go back to the uh, deadline process because this is actually when the idea of creating a feature uh, started was back in August of 2023 when Mike set that deadline like hey we got to get this deadline done before the season otherwise I'm going to explore free agency uh, I remember asking for an interview because I was down in Tampa and asking Derek hey is it okay if I get an interview with Mike and Derek said uh no not right now because let me let you in on a little bit of thing uh, a little bit of something that's going on right now and it's the fact that we're in this contract dispute don't tell anyone yet but I'm gonna set a deadline um, and he was just kind of like venting to me, like, yeah, this is what's going on with, uh, the Buccaneers and us. And we're kind of like 4 million apart right now. We've been talking about this for two years. So I'm just at a point right now, where we're just going to set a deadline. And then if it doesn't happen, we'll think about it later. We'll see what the future holds, but, uh, just seeing things like that happen, like getting, uh, inside info before things were actually released, um, that that kind of opened my eyes a lot to oh crap this is actually a pretty cool process that I want to document. Hassan, from your experience, from your vantage point, did Derek and Mike feel like this job that this deal was ultimately going to get done? You know, to be honest with you, uh, when I spoke with them when that deadline was set, I got the idea that it wasn't happening. I'll, I, you know, just to be honest with you, eventually it worked out, and uh, even after the season ended. I asked Derek, like, hey, are the Bucks still an option? Are you serious about going somewhere else? And he said, no. I mean, the Bucks are actually, they're still an option, but the ball's in their court. And so Jason, from the interview that we had with him in the feature, he was very adamant. And he said, listen, I know where Mike's at. I know where Derek's at, but I'm going to get this thing done. And they got it done. One of the other things that stuck out to me, because we did a lot of speculation here, and we even asked him that day after the signing, like, who else was calling? What else was on the table? What other teams? And in the future, it seemed like the state of Texas was kind of the other spot that he was looking to go. Yep. Yep, absolutely. I mean, Mike, he's a Texas guy. Um, I will say this. So, uh, you know, there's there's like a period where teams are allowed to talk to agents and players. Um, so there was talk around the combine of, okay, maybe these are the teams that Derek and Mike are looking towards signing with if it's an option of free agency. Um, but as to, far as my knowledge goes, there was no like talks with any of the teams uh, during the combine. It was just like, here's a list of teams we would like to play for uh, once that free agency period begins. But yeah, the state of Texas, definitely one of those teams. Yeah, the uh, part in the interview where Gilmore said, yeah, I just imagine Mike with that Dallas Cowboys star in his chest made me throw up a little bit as a Bucks supporter here. But it was interesting insight. <laughs> it was interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, talking about all those teams, like, you know, there's rumors out there about the Kansas city chiefs. People are like, Hey man, Mike should definitely go to the chiefs. Well, that was definitely on the list. Uh, the fact that the Rams that Derek brought up the Rams, I'm like, I actually asked him, I'm like, Hey, don't they have Puka and cup? Like, how are they going to get it done? It's like, well, the Rams love three wide receiver sets. So, I mean, there was a lot of options.
Well, you did nail it, my friend. Make sure you check him out. Time to football all over social media. Thanks again, Hassan. And we will. T- if you have any other videos coming out, contact us, and we'll do our best to share it with all of our listeners, all of our viewers, and continue success, man. Keep in touch. I appreciate the support. Thanks for having me. You got it. Hassan Khan right there. Time to football. What a great chat, man. That was awesome. Uh, Chiefs? Rams? Yeah. Mind blown. That was wild. Mind blown. Yeah, we'll get into that a little bit later on.